Hello friends, I'm sure you're all doing great. I'm Dr. Ashwin Adimawan with my ultrasound teaching videos and today my focus would be biliary tract. Uh, while scanning the hepatobiliary system, many of the clinicians they do not pay attention to the importance of scanning the biliary tree and therefore they miss the diagnosis. Today my topic of discussion would be biliary tree, how uh, it will appear on the images and uh, how we will appreciate, how we will diagnose and how we will document on the reporting. Uh, this video will include all these information. But before going to uh, talk about the uh, disease and the pathologies, I would request that please subscribe my channel, uh, press the like and follow button. So I'm not going to waste the time and let's uh, start uh, CBD diagnosis or biliary tree diagnosis on the ultrasound scanning. Biliary trees consist of gallbladder. Gallbladder has a small cystic duct. Cystic duct communicates upward with the common hepatic duct and divides into right and left within the liver and it communicates, uh, cystic duct communicates downward with the CBD. For the biliary tree, there are two types of the terminology used, um, proximal C, uh, biliary tree and the distal uh, biliary tree. Proximal biliary tree is uh, within the proximity of the liver and the hepatocyte, while distal biliary tree uh, is the area which is closer to the bowel. Another terminology used for the biliary tree is central part or peripheral part. Central biliary tree is the area which is uh, related to the porta hepatis and peripheral uh, biliary tree is the area which is intrahepatic and that is also called as an intrahepatic biliary tree. Spectral and color Doppler are often needed to distinguish hepatic arteries from ducts. Ducts tend to be straight whereas arteries are tortuous. Normal caliber of the CBD is up to 6 mm um, but in post cholecystectomy status uh, uh, when the gallbladder is removed the large caliber up to 10 mm is inconclusive. Therefore, ductal diameter of 7 mm or greater should be further investigated and it should be correlated with the serum level of cholestatic uh, liver enzymes. A common pathology of the CBD is cholidocal cyst. It is congenital disorder and it appears as focal or diffuse cystic dilatation of the biliary tree. It has five types and you can easily appreciate on the images. Type 1 is a fusiform dilatation of the CBD. Type 2 cyst uh, is actually the diverticula of the bile duct and it's a very rare entity. In type 3, the cysts are confined to the intraduodenal portion of the CBD and you cannot appreciate on the ultrasound images. While type 4 is a typical and uh, you can appreciate multiple intrahepatic and both extrahepatic biliary cysts, biliary dilatations. While type 5, uh, type 5 is uh, uh, ha having its own specific name, is also called as a Caroli disease and uh, it consists of multiple intrahepatic biliary tree dilatation. On the ultrasound images, cholidocal cyst type 1 will appear like this sometime. You may appreciate that uh, big simple cyst in the proximity of the CBD and uh, it will be having a clear margin and as I mentioned it would be a fusiform dilatation of the CBD. This is the another example. You will uh, easily appreciate the CBD and the color flow you can see that is in the artery and on the top of it you can see a clear cut small size cyst uh, that is a type 1 cholidocal cyst. It may appear uh, small in size or may appear large in size whatever you have to mention on the report. Type 4 cholidocal cyst uh, classified as multiple intrahepatic and extrahepatic biliary dilatation. On this image you can appreciate the gallbladder and just adjacent to the gallbladder there are multiple cystic lesions. You can appreciate that. Uh, alongside there is a dilated CBD as well. So this is a particular example of the extra uh, hepatic biliary cystic dilatations. Type 4 as I mentioned uh, intra and extra both biliary cyst can be seen. So this would be the next slide. On next slide uh, this is uh, image of the liver within the liver and irregular, sh irregular shaped cystic lesion you can uh, appreciate. This is intrahepatic biliary cystic 
dilatation. So, this is a particular example of the type 4 corridocal cyst. You can see both intrahepatic and extrahepatic cystic lesions. On the report, you mention the size, uh, mention the structure, and write down that the type 4 polydocal cyst seen. On the ultrasound images, if liver parenchyma shows multiple cystic dilatation and uh, it involves entire parenchyma or any of the focal segment of the liver, this would be Caroli disease. Uh, these are type 5 corridocal cysts. Uh, in this case, the CBD would be normal. There would be no cystic changes or cysts uh, within the proximity of the CBD. Only intrahepatic dilatation would be seen. Mention on the report that intrahepatic biliary channels are dilated. CBD is normal. Give its measurement. And in the conclusion, mention uh, Caroli disease. And in the brackets, mention colidocal cyst type 5. So, these images were all about the colidocal cyst. And I'm sure uh, these images would help you to find out the colidocal cyst on the ultrasound imaging. Uh, keep in mind that uh, colidocal cyst classification uh, is divided into five categories. Type 1 is easy to understand on the ultrasound images while type 2 and type 3 you cannot easily appreciate on the ultrasound. Type 4 has a very specific entity. If you see that there is uh, there are multiple dilatations of the CBD and there are multiple cysts within the liver so that would be um, type 4 colidocal cyst. Type 5 uh, colidocal cyst as I mentioned it has a particular entity. If within the in entire liver parenchyma you would see multiple cystic appearance, dilated uh, biliary tree. So this would be a Caroli disease. Always me measure the size of the cyst. Always uh, look for the contour of the cyst and the location of the cyst as well. Mention on your report and document it. On this image, you can appreciate a small ecogenic stone casting equesting shadowing. And uh, within the CBD, uh, you can see that the CBD is also dilated. Uh, the CBD stones are uh, called as a cholidocolithiasis and it's made up of calcium bicarbonate. This is another example. Look at there is an ecogenic stone within the CBD. CBD stones are very common and can easily be picked up on the ultrasound. But it is important that you have to measure and you have to look for the entire uh, length of the CBD. It has a classical appearance and it shows round ecogenic uh, uh, structure uh, with the posterior equesting enhancement. Differential include uh, blood clot, papillary tumor and biliary sludge but this would not give rise to equestic shadowing. Sometimes surgical clips appear also ecogenic. Another entity uh, is uh, intrahepatic stones uh, but it should not be misconfused with the intrahepatic calcifications. Uh, these uh, stones uh, would be within the uh, intrahepatic biliary channels and you might see slightly enlargement of the biliary, biliary channel as well. So at that time you have to mention that intrahepatic biliary channel stones visualized. While for the CBD you have to mention the size, mention that the CBD was dilated and uh, also mention comment on the intrahepatic biliary channel dilatation if there is any associated dilatation. So write down on the report colidocolithiasis with dilatation. Yes, these images were about the stone uh, stuck within the CBD and that condition is called as cholidocolithiasis. Always, always concentrate on the CBD size uh, and uh, investigate uh, the CBD in its entire length. Take the picture, measure the size of the CBD, mention it, always look for the proximal CBD, look for the distal CBD. Uh, if you did find the stone mention it whether it was in proximal CBD or the distal CBD. Many of the clinicians still confuse what the proximal CBD and what the distal CBD is. Uh, mind you, uh, proximal CBD is uh, uh, the area which is related to the liver and the distal CBD which is away from the liver that would be a distal CBD. So look for any of the stone or um, within the CBD if there is any small mass or polypoid lesion or there is any sludge. So mention all that on your report, measure the stone size, mention on the report, measure the dilatation of the CBD and in the conclusion write down colidocolithiasis. Blood clot within the gallbladder 
and in the intrahepatic biliary channel is called as hemobilia this would be secondary to trauma or percutaneous biliary procedures or maybe liver biopsies uh, blood clot uh, usually appear on the ultrasound images as an ecogenic material sometime it would be with a mixed ecogenicity maybe mobile and it may appear tubular if uh, it is in the intrahepatic biliary channels so you must write down on the report that ecogenic material is seen within the lumen of the gallbladder or uh, within the intrahepatic biliary channels and the findings are suggestive of uh, hemobilia you can appreciate uh, linear ecogenic structure on these images within the liver uh, these are air or within the biliary tree and uh, this is called as an immobilia and it usually uh, results from the previous biliary interventions biliary enteric anastomosis or CBD stunt air in the bile duct uh, has characteristic appearance uh, it appears as a bright ecogenic linear structures casting posterior dirty aquatic shadowing and ring, ring down artifacts you must mention on the report that bright linear structure seen within the liver parenchyma or within the biliary tree um, suggestive of pneumobilia and there must be history of some surgical interventions. There are multiple biliary tree infections uh, among them uh, there is acute cholangitis and chronic cholangitis. Uh, this is example of the acute cholangitis. Acute cholangitis is actually a medical emergency. On the ultrasound images, you will appreciate dilatation of the biliary tree. There will be CBD stone, possibility of the sludge within the gallbladder. Bile duct wall thickening would be appreciated. And also look for the hepatic abscess. There would be hepatic abscess somewhere. Mention on the report that the uh, bile duct shows wall thickening and uh, there is a dilatation of the biliary tree. Uh, there is a stone within the CBD or there is a sludge within the uh, gallbladder and um, uh, write down that the findings are suggestive of acute cholangitis and clinical lab correlation is suggested. Another infection is called as a recurrent pyogenic cholangitis. Uh, typical appearance is dilated ducts filled with sludge and stones. Uh, this may be confined to one or more segments of the liver. As it shows recurrence, so there will be history of previous infection. It shows pyogenic. Pyogenic means there must be abscess. You have to look for the abscess within the liver region. And um, I mentioned on the report that there is a dilated intrahepatic biliary channels filled with sludge. And if stone is there, mention the size of the stones and uh, write down it is diffuse or it is focal or it is involved only or uh, it is confined to only one segment and uh, mention that the finding of the ultrasound is suggestive of recurrent pyogenic cholangitis and uh, clinical, co, um, clinical and the laboratory correlation is uh, recommended. Another infection called as ascariasis, uh, single worm Ascarius lumbricoid identified as a tubular structure with parallel ecogenic line within the bile duct. So in this image you can appreciate the ecogenic parallel lines within the CBD. So this is actually Ascarius uh, lumbricoids within the CBD. Sometime this Ascarius uh, can be seen within the gallbladder as well. As this slide shows, this is the gallbladder and within the gallbladder you can appreciate the scariest lubricant. So mention on the report that ecogenic tubular structure is seen either in the gallbladder or within the CBD and uh, findings are suggestive of scariest lubricant and uh, clinical uh, lab correlation is also suggested or further investigation may be required for the diagnosis. Another infection is primary sclerosing cholangitis. This is actually a chronic inflammatory disease process affecting the biliary tree. Uh, if the cause is uh, unknown, that would be called as a primary sclerosing cholangitis. And if the cause is known, that would be called as a secondary sclerosing. The ultrasound uh, imaging uh, will show irregular circumferential bile duct wall thickening encroaching on and narrowing the lumen. You can appreciate in this images there is a 
intrahepatic biliary channel dilatations, uh, their wall thickening. And in the CBD, the dilated CBD shows a small ecogenic uh, neoplasm as well. So this would be a classic case of a secondary uh, sclerosing cholangitis because the cause is uh, already known there. There are multiple reasons for that. Uh, bile duct neoplasm and bile duct uh, surgery or trauma may cause the secondary sclerosing cholangitis. Biliary tree carcinoma is not very common and its classification is based on uh, the anatomical location. It uh, appears as uh, intrahepatic, uh, sometimes uh, it uh, occurs at uh, hilar region and in some cases uh, it appears uh, distally. Uh, but 90% cholangiocarcinomas are adenocarcinoma. On this image, uh, have a look, there is a polypoidal mass within the CBD. Uh, measure the size of uh, um, this mass and mention that hypoequic mass is seen within the CBD. CBD is uh, also enlarged. This is a classic example of intrahepatic intraductal carcinoma uh, but you have to mention only the size you have to mention the ecogenicity you have to mention the dilatations of the cbd and um, write down that the correlations uh, with other radiological imaging is suggestive for the cholangiocarcinoma on this image uh, you can appreciate a well-defined hypoequic round mass in the liver uh, in the right lobe of the liver uh, this is an example of the uh, intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma but how you will differentiate it uh, from the hepatoma or hepatocellular carcinoma so the point of uh, differentiation is you have to look for the biliary channel dilatation if the biliary channels are dilated so it is uh, likely to be a cholangiocarcinoma while in hepatoma and hcc the biliary channels would not be dilated and it would be considered uh, our hepatoma or some other mass this is the another classical example of uh, um, cholangiocarcinoma and you can appreciate a well-defined hypoequic mass at the region of the hilum of the liver. So that would be considered as a hilar cholangiocarcinoma. Measure the size, um, mention the ecotexture, mention the location on the report and mention it uh, a hilar uh, hypoequic mass likely cholangiocarcinoma. In these slides, uh, I have mentioned about the cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangiocarcinoma, though it's not very common, but still uh, it, you will come across uh, while you are scanning the patients. Uh, always uh, be careful for the patient's investigation. If the patient is with a deranged LFT and elevated bilirubin, and uh, is, uh, all condition is pillar, so uh, must concentrate on the biliary structure. If you did find any of the mass, uh, within the liver parenchyma, this would be an intrahepatic mass. And intrahepatic mass, are, there are multiple differentials of the intrahepatic mass, but how we will differentiate uh, from the cholangiocarcinoma and the hepatoma or any other mass lesion, if it is associated with the dilatations of the biliary tree, this would be likely cholangiocarcinoma. And if there is uh, no uh, biliary tree dilatation, so you may think of hepatocellular carcinoma or there may be hepatoma or whatever the other differentials of the liver uh, uh, masses are. So if it is in the uh, proximity of the liver parenchyma, so that would be intrahepatic mass. And uh, if uh, it is within the biliary duct, so within the biliary duct, if you did find any of small polypidal lesions, so this would be an intraductal, intraductal intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. And always focus on the uh, hilar region as well. Sometime within the hilar area, uh, you may come across a small uh, tumor, which would be a, a hilar cholangiocarcinoma. So in all these slides, the three types of the cholangiocarcinoma was visible clearly. Always measure the size, always mention the location, put the Doppler ultrasound on and look for the intrahepatic biliary channel dilatations. Document on the report and uh, mention that the uh, ultrasound findings must be correlated with other radiological imaging. Yes friend, this was all about the hepatobiliary, especially the biliary tract uh, ultrasound pathologies. Uh, if you have any query, please email me and do not forget uh, giving me the feedback. My next video would be related to the uh, CBD or biliary tract reporting. How we will document it on the report so that it could satisfy the clinician or surgeon or our, our other medical colleagues 
and they could take advantage of it and uh, they um, confidently start managing the patient on the basis of the ultrasound imaging. So my next video would be um, CBD and the biliary tract uh, reporting. So keep watching my video. See you next time. Bye.